Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of B Squared Sports Talk. Episode three. B Squared Sports it Talk. It is Red Dog, G Money, and Iron <laughs> Bowl. Red Dog. That's not my nickname. We, <laughs> viewers got to come up with a different one for me. Red Dog's just not it. I like Iron Bowl. Iron Bowl. Red Dog seems a little perverted almost. <laughs> it was that commercial we saw. Wasn't it a screwdriver? I think so. It was like a multi-tool thing. But it's it's for a limited time, so you have to get it now. Yeah, <laughs> remember it's probably sold out now. So, all right. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, a little bit about NCAA football, uh, some Major League Baseball, yep. World Series, Phillies, Astros. Talk about sports betting, NFL Week Seven. Don't recap. forget about the trivia. Oh, trivia! Trivia's That's the best man. part. That's a lot the best of people part. Like trivia. Week Seven recap of the NFL. Week Eight predictions, and then maybe if we have time, talk about some favorites. Did you write some down for that? I did. Okay, so maybe if we have time, we'll talk about that. If not. We'll save for next week or something. That sounds good to me. Good for me. Starting out. Go a little fantasy football? No. Giveaway. Oh, yes. We do have a giveaway. So we said 30 subscriber giveaway is what we're going to yep. do. So out of the first 30 subscribers, we chose Jeremy Sampson. He was the we lucky didn't choose winner. Him. He was lucky, lucky winner. Yeah, lucky winner. Drawing. Lucky yep. winner in the drawing. Um, we will be designing a hat. It's actually getting ordered right now. Yes, it's on its way. This is the hat right here. Here's a picture of it. <laughs> Um, but Jeremy, uh, we will be in contact with you to get you that hat. Congratulations! Thanks, and thanks for your support. Thank um, you for your support. Big get, fan, right there, Jeremy Sampson. Yep, he is a big fan. Um, so we are at seventy-five subscribers on YouTube currently, and once we get to a hundred, yep. um, we are going to have someone on the podcast. The very first guest on the, the podcast. very first guest, and that very first guest is going to be what we consider our number one fan. Number one fan. Number one fan being. Uh, someone that shares our content, likes our content, comments, yep. uh, messages us, um, maybe even criticizes us. You yeah. Know? Um, but yeah, we're we're ready for that. So if you want to be on the episode, if you want to be on the podcast, like, share, do yeah. what you need to do with our things, because that's how we're going to choose the number one fan. And as soon as we get, the sooner we get to a uh, hundred subscribers, the sooner they're going to be on the podcast. Yep. Sooner and it could be you. Could be next week if it gets to a hundred. By the way. As always, here are our socials right here. And as always, our sponsor, Alyssa Wind Massage. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Relax and renew with Alyssa Wind Massage. At the beginning. We know when it is now. now we do. At the beginning. <laughs> That'll be easy for the editing. Yes, it will. <laughs> All right. If you're a video editor and want to do a, f- a free job for us, <laughs> you can be our video editor. <laughs> yes. We really don't have a lot of income. In the business of B squared, <laughs> so you'll have to do it for free. Yep, um, uh, we we will not be paying you. <laughs> if we expand and grow, you can get paid on put on salary or something. Sure, twenty seven cents a year. Yeah. All right. Fantasy so, football. You want to talk a little bit about that? Let's hop into some fantasy football. What do you got? Um, what do you want to talk about when it comes to fantasy? When it comes to fantasy, I just want to go over with go over who was the best last week. Was that week seven last week? Yep, week yep. seven last week. So, first off, I just want to talk about Cincinnati Bengals. They were looking like AFC champions. They were looking week. very good. They looked really good. Past couple weeks, they've looked pretty good. That being said, Joe Burrow was the highest fantasy score. He scored 44.05 points. 44. 44. He had 481 yards passing, three touchdowns, uh, 20 yards rushing, and one touchdown. I think he had over 350 yards in the first half. He did. That's so, insane. That is pretty good. So that's that was the best quarterback last week. Best running back last week was Austin Eckler. How many did he get? He had thirty six point seven points. Uh, you know who was second? I don't. Josh Jacobs. Yes, it was. And he was on my bench. Oh, oh, that's brutal, buddy. I got a story to tell after this, but okay. keep going. I'll just go and list uh, yeah. on who was the best out of each position. Uh, anyways, Austin Eckler went. Uh, yes. Okay, let me read this right. <laughs> I think it was nine. Nine rushes for 31 yards and one touchdown. That's not great, but it was his 12 receptions for 96 yards and one touchdown. He's about to break. I think he's about to break the record for most receiving yards by a running back in a season. Really? If he continues at the pace he's at now, I think I read that right. Yeah. Best wide receiver? Do you have a guess? Jamar Chase. It was Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase, 33 points, 11 receptions for 130 yards and two touchdowns. I figured with the 481 yards, Joe Burrow had Jamar Chase probably did pretty good. Who do you think the best kicker was? Gosh dang it, I watched the game, and the kicker kicked a lot. Don't Cairo st- Santos. That's not who I was going to guess. Oh, well, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> four for four on his field goals, three extra points made, gave him 18 points. Wow. That's quite a bit for a kicker. Who does he play for? Um, I don't remember. I was going to say Look it up real quick. Yeah. 
Gosh, I'm trying to think of that game that I was watching when the kicker it might have been the Bears last night. Yeah, Cairo. Does he play for yep, the Bears? Yep, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He had a bunch of I want to say that or the Colts, but I was like, no, it's not the Colts. No, because they just got rid of Blankenship and they got somebody That's else. Right. That's but right. I don't know who they have now. Uh, the best tight end played against the Chiefs. George Kittle had six receptions, 98 yards, and one touchdown. So did Travis Kelsey. He had six receptions, 98 yards, too. Did you know that? Did he really? Yep. Must not have scored 21.8 points. I don't think he had a touchdown. He didn't. And then the last, the defense. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. 24 points out of a defense on fantasy is outrageous. That's very good. Six points allowed. Two interceptions. Wow. Three fumble recoveries and five sacks. That defense is insane. Very good. Very, very good. One of the players in trivia is from the Cowboys defense that I'm going to give give you later. Oh, boy. So you got to see who that's going to be. Oh, boy. We talked about it this weekend. Well, let's see if I remember. Let's see if you remember. We All talked right. about co- quite a few of these in trivia this weekend. We did. That's fantasy, a fantasy overview. Um, do you have anything else about fantasy? I just want to say something about my team. Okay. I can't remember what league it's in. I think it's in the other league, not with the one we're okay. in. I have four running backs. Nick Chubb, uh, Derrick Henry. Ramondre Stevenson and Josh Jacobs. You have all four of those. I have all four of those. Wow. So I had Ramondre in my flex just because he's been doing he's yeah. doing being very good. And Josh Jacobs on my bench, but Ramondre's top ten running back. <clears> I think uh Josh Jacobs has gotten like plus thirty the past three starts. Wow. But I'm sure as soon as I put him in, he'll get yeah. six points or That's something. That's how it'll happen. That's <laughs> how it's gonna happen. I'll That's just, all I got with it comes fantasy. When it comes to fantasy, I'll just tell you one of my teams is two and five and my other one's three and four. Three our and league, four. Our league and three and four. Three and four in both mine. Really? I lost both in this week. Oh and two. It's not bad, not bad. Hop into some NCAA football. Works for me. Works for me. What do you got? College football playoff. Right now, who do you got? Who do I got or who do I want? I'll give you both. 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 Yeah, give me both. Who do I got? I think Ohio State's going to be the eventual number one. They're going to be the number one seed going in there. Clemson's going to hop up to number two. I think... I'm not sure who's going to be in the SEC championship. But this is what how it's is like that every year. Georgia's going to be three. Alabama's going to sneak in there somehow and be number four. Okay. Because Tennessee's going to lose in the SEC championship. Yep. Like it's going to be a pretty bad loss to for the to justify that they're not going to be a top four yep. team. That's going to make me sick. But that's, that's exactly. what I think's going to happen. Yep. Those what are you, four you had? That's for think what's going to happen. Because I had a conversation with Devin this weekend mm-hmm. at the bachelor party, and he was saying that Alabama and Clemson are probably going to play in the SEC championship because I think Georgia and Tennessee play the fifth of November. I think I wrote, yeah, the fifth of November. I wrote that down. And I'm sh- if Tennessee can win, that'd be awesome. Because I, I want Tennessee in the college Tennessee, football playoff. I, I want them. Four. Yeah, me too. But we probably hear, have the same top four. You hear my want? Yeah. It's. I mean, they are a Big Ten school. I don't like them, but I'd like to see Ohio State. Yep. You know, um, just to show the Big Ten how it's good and stuff. And I also got Tennessee in there, and I got another Big Ten school, Michigan, and I also got TCU. TCU. I do. That's good. That would be cool to see a Big Twelve. It would be team in there, but other than Oklahoma, you know, you know, they're, they're probably not gonna right. make it this year. But. They're probably not gonna make it in bowl game. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like Nebraska the past six years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For my want, I got Georgia at one, Ohio State two, Tennessee at four, because I'm hoping they'll just lose one game the rest mm-hmm. of the year. Maybe they beat Georgia at the fifth and right. lose an SEC right. championship to Georgia, or vice versa, something like that. Fingers crossed. And then Michigan three. Yeah. I if they lose. I don't know. Because they won the Big Ten Championship last year, so that's going to be tough because they're going to have to beat Ohio State. Right. Because I think they play them in the regular season and probably the Big Ten Championship, but it'll be tough. We're not the voters. We don't get to pick. But I'm a Michigan fan, kind of, so I want Michigan in there. Probably my favorite Big Ten school. Gross. Definitely my favorite Big Ten school. Nebraska's your second. Yeah, probably close second. (laughs) Okay. What do you think needs to be done uh, with Oklahoma football to get going? I got a couple things. Their defense is not good. Okay. I thought bringing in Brent Venables was going to be better. But they allowed, I think, 42 points against KU. Mm-hmm. That's pretty bad. I mean, KU's offense is decent, but I think it was Jason. Yeah, Jalen Daniels wasn't even playing. It was Jason Bean. Jason Bean, And yeah. 42 points. That's kind of bad. I mean, I feel like they'll get it going eventually or they'll turn it around. But defense is not good. Passing game, not good either. Marvin Mims is barely getting utilized. Drake Stoops barely getting utilized. I feel like those guys need to be involved more. Eric Gray, running back, he's only positive so far. I think he was like 7.2 yards per carry is what that's, he's averaging. That's really good. It's the best in college football yeah, right now. That's really good. But, so the offensive line has to be doing good if he's getting a lot of yards, but passing game just isn't there. But if you're expecting 30 carries, exactly, defense knows what's what's to, right. what to do then. So yeah, you got to mix everything in, a good mix. You, you do. Know, just What do you got about Nebraska? 
Nebraska. What needs to be done? They have to make a bowl game this year. Have to? They have not made one since, I believe, 2016 or 17. Was that Scott Frost or no? No. No? Scott Frost never made a bowl game. Never. It was something we always hoped for, never got there. I thought he made one. No, never. Nebraska has to make a bowl game this year. They need to go 3-2 and two the rest of the season. It is doable. It's going to be tough. we got Illinois this coming weekend, and we also got to play Minnesota, and we also got Michigan. You should beat Minnesota. They're not we could beat Mi- Minnesota. Michigan uh, game. Yeah, he, he, this guy's going to the Michigan game. Going, up going to the, the big, big house. house. But they need to do that, and then they need to find. I don't know if Mickey Joseph is a guy, but they need to find the right head coach as well. He's. I think he might. I don't know. I feel like the players like him. The players and that's do definitely like him. a plus. It is. You need the players' to trust and everything like that, especially. And then they played. They played Purdue and close. Yeah. Purdue was a really close game. Um, it just when when you play really good teams like that and play them close. Purdue's but, really good. Purdue was pretty dang good. Were they ranked ever this year? Yes. I don't remember when. <laughs> Was it twenty something? I think so. Yeah, it's all right. But they were ranked. Go ahead. Yeah, better in Oklahoma. Anyways, <laughs> they but they are. Nebraska got killed by Oklahoma. I have nothing to talk about there. Uh, Purdue probably would beat. But them. yeah, this upcoming weekend they got Illinois at home. It's That's gonna be, gonna be a tough game. It'll be a tough. But game. But I I feel like they could get it done, especially yeah. at home. And it is on one of our parlays of the week here in the future. Yep. But yep. Yep. Our wide receiver Trey Palmer. Best in the league right now. He As of last good. week prior to, because we had a bye week last week, so he didn't get to play. But he was leading the entire, not really league, but entire college football in receiving yards. Yeah. And that's pretty that's pretty. That good. is pretty to good. Have, to have something, something like that on your team. Do they have a good running back this year, Oklahoma? Don't they have a transfer? Nebraska, you mean? I mean, yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, Anthony Grant, he was the Juco player of the league that's, year last oh, that's year. That's what I thought. And he's been doing really yeah. good. Uh, he's had like four breakout games, and the other ones he's been okay. Yeah. But good. our backup uh, running back. A.J. Allen got hurt. So and Nebraska's defense well. has been struggling. Nebraska's been. defense has been one of the worst in college football. Mm-hmm. And our offensive line has also been one of the worst, worst. in college football. That's Casey right. Thompson has rushed every single time. Yeah, but it just, it's, it's tough to watch, but hopefully they can get it figured out. They will. I feel like Mickey Joseph will get them in the right direction. Hopefully. They're doing, what are they, 3-3 three and three right now? They're 3-4. Three 3-4, and four. Three and four, but mm-hmm. that's Same not bad. Fantasy team. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to be the best NFL player from college football this year? This was I like doing this. This was pretty fun yeah, for it was me. Cool. Who do you got number one? Like, okay, do you have a quarterback? I guess I got a quarterback. Give me your quarterback. And two running backs. Okay, give me your quarterback. My quarterback, CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. Mm-hmm. You think he's going to be good? I think he's going to be really good in the NFL. I really haven't paid attention a whole lot to him. I guess I've watched him a couple times. But well, have you seen how good Ohio State is and how he plays the first are? half? That's it. Exactly. Because they they're up fifty six to zero at halftime. He's he's the real deal. He's the real deal. He's good. I got Hendon Hooker, the Tennessee quarterback. Okay, yeah. I've been seeing some things like I think he's 25, 26. Is he really playing college football? So they're like his windows. Not he's not going to get better. He's not mm-hmm. going to because he's so old. But I yeah. think he'll get better. Either. I mean, he's going to you. You go to the NFL, you learn new things in the NFL. Even though he has that skill set established already, uh-huh. he's going to learn new things. He's going right. to pick up tricks. Right. So I feel like he'll be really successful in like the next that level. Pick. Yeah. He's a big boy, too. He can see over the line. He's, he's quick. has a good arm. Yeah. Yeah. That could, that could possibly happen. I also got another orange one, not from the same team, different team, B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson, I have that, too. I think he he's a beast. He would be really good NFL running back. Very good. I agree with that. Uh, especially behind, like, a... Good line, solid yeah, line. solid line. Yeah, he can be really I agree. Good. Very good. And my other one, this is a sleeper, but Deuce Vaughn for Casey. Deuce Vaughn. Yeah. I was going to put that down, but I feel like he's going to get drafted, so it's really not like, yeah. I don't know. Um, I got another K-State guy, Felix Nduke Uzama. Oh, yeah. I think he's... You, you were saying all week, dude, he's, see him, the Chiefs should get him. He's so good. And I've been seeing like the draft, like pre-draft or whatever, mm-hmm. and the Chiefs, the Chiefs should get him. Yeah. But he's a beast. I like him a lot. That would be cool. Quentin Johnson... Uh, wide receiver for TCU, that oh, number one. Yes. He's huge. They were saying he's DK Metcalf yeah. on this weekend on the game. Big. He's 6'4", 215. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. I think he's pretty old, though, too, but I obviously think he'll be I think he'll be really good in the next level. Yeah. Uh, Darnell Washington, you know who that is? Tight end for Georgia, oh, number yeah. zero. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they have uh, Brock Bowers, they have two really good tight ends. Mm-hmm. Darnell Washington, 6'7", 270, and he's quick, and he's he can hurdle over people. Something, have you seen that? Yeah, something yeah. like that is... A weapon. Destined at the next level. Oh, yeah. Has to be for at the sure. next level. For sure. I agree. That's it for NCAA, unless you got anything else. That's pretty good. Anything big from last week's games or anything big upcoming this week? Oklahoma State, K State. I feel like K State, that's a must win for them. I agree. That's one of my underdogs that I'll talk about here in a minute. That'll but be a huge one. I feel I feel like they'll do it too because it's at home. But like I said, Nebraska plays Illinois, ranked number seventeen in the country. Illinois is looking pretty good. Who's Oklahoma got this weekend? Iowa State, I'm pretty sure. Iowa State. Iowa State's tough. Uh, they play everybody tough, but they, they always do. have an awful record. I think, I don't know. but 
Another big game out They're of the They're kind of like the Nebraska of the Big 12. Yeah. Another big game out of the Big 10, Ohio State and Penn State. That'll be a good That'll game. Be a really good game. Good game. I've got a be a test for Ohio upset. State. But I think Ohio uh, State's going to Ohio play. State's still a 15 and a half point yeah. favorite. Ohio State's very good. Very good. O- o- Oklahoma State, Kansas State will be a good game. Who does TCU have? Dave, a bye? Um, nope, they play West Virginia at West well, Virginia. They should kill they should, them. They should beat West Virginia's not very good. Another big game out of the SEC, Kentucky traveling to Tennessee. That'll be a good game. Potential upset, I think. Kentucky ranked 14? Kentucky's 17? 19. 19? Yep. That's a potential upset, I think. Big rivalry in the Big Ten. Michigan versus Michigan State. Michigan State's bad this year. Michigan State is bad. Michigan is a 22-point favorite. <laughs> so yeah, those Where are, is it? Michigan or Michigan State? It's at Michigan. That's a big house. Michigan has a lot of home games. So yeah, those are... Should be another good week in the college football. Yeah. Should be a really good week in the good, college football. A lot of good conference games this yeah. week. So stay tuned. And All right. Should we dive into some MLB playoffs? Yep. That's it with NCAA. Let's right, get MLB. Not just MLB playoffs, but MLB. Yeah, we got it. Phillies, Astros... Phillies Astros game one is Friday, so it would be tomorrow when so, we're watching this. Obviously, Astros are favorite, or they should be the favorites. For so sure. I, I got they right lost here this entire postseason. No, undefeated. You know who the last Seven team? No. Last team to go undefeated was it was a nineteen. No, to go to the World. Series. Oh, to go to the World Series of Kansas City Royals. Twenty fourteen Royals. The baby. last team to uh, do it the entire, like sweep yeah. the entire playoffs was like the nineteen seventy some. I don't remember Dang. who they were. I don't. What do the Phillies need to do to stop the Astros? Do you have anything written down for that? I got a couple things. Well, obviously, score more than the Astros. Yeah. How are they going to do that? I, they need to score a lot of runs because the Astros are going to score a lot of runs. Their offense is insane. And that's so. one thing. Pitching needs to stop the starters. They need to stay probably five, six innings. Yes, allow for sure. Two, three less, less than three runs. Yep. And then the bullpen needs to allow less than one run. And yep. I feel like the Phillies should get that. If they can keep the Astros to five under five runs... They should consider that a win. Astros, their their sticks are going to come out. And I feel like no, they are. And I feel like the Phillies are pretty hot right now. I saw somewhere that the Astros are the best team in the league, and the Phillies are the hottest team in the league. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel like I don't know who's going to who's what's better to be the best team or to be the hottest team. It's really tough to determine. We'll find out. It is weeks, or I guess a week. So yeah, but yeah, just basically you got you got to score a lot because the Astros are their sticks are hot and they're and they're going to be at home the first two games. So. And that's going to be tough. Yeah. And it's tough to shut the door on the Astros like the it bullpen. Is. Like I said, a lot less than one run. It's going to be very, very difficult very for a bullpen to do that. Especially it's the Astros. They're yeah. very good. They haven't lost. Yeah. Like I said, they haven't lost. So You put on here, should the Yankees be worried? I did. About what? Yes, I think they should be worried. About? If they don't get judged back, they should be very, very Why worried. Why should they be worried? I think they're going to be third or fourth in the AL East. When they can literally buy whoever they want. Who are they going to get if they don't get Aaron Judge back? Look at the free agency. They could get Carlos Turner. Correa. They could get Trey Turner. They could literally get whoever they want because they have the money to. They're not going to be bad. They're going to be above 500 just like Obviously. they have. Oh, yeah. They'll be above 500. Just like they have been. But the AL East is very good. The Orioles are from upcoming. I think I think they'll be a top three team for sure in the AL East. And they're potential to make the playoffs every year just like they have always because they have the money to buy <laughs> but whoever they But they'll lose in the ALCS to the Astros. They'll, they'll lose in the playoffs. And, yeah, they're not going to get 28 anytime soon, I don't think. Sorry, Yankees fans. But, but that's what I have to say. So if they get judged back, who else? Do you think they need to sign anybody else? Are they losing anyone else? I don't know. It's hard It's hard saying. I I can't I'm remember. not sure. I mean, we, can, we can look into that in a couple episodes. I know they're not the getting – Anthony Rizzo is not leaving, but – And either is LeMahieu. I mean, Matt Carpenter. I mean, yeah, Judge went, went crazy for him, but – if he would have played in the playoffs like he did in the regular season, he would have been bad, really bad. He played awful in the playoffs. But have, Jose, no, what I'm saying oh. is, if he would have played in the in the playoffs like he did in the regular season, was I meant to say? Oh yeah, he'll he would have what what would have been the result? Different story. Because I mean, I think that a lot of the Yankees players fed mm-hmm. off of his insane yeah, year he had. I agree. You know, got them excited and yep. hyped up. But who knows? We will never know. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, I'm interested to see what the Yankees do if they get Judge back. I also saw today that the Giants aren't going to be outbidded by anybody. Oh, so really? the Giants are going to give him the most money. I feel like so it's going to be wherever he wants to go. But like I said, he's from Colorado. If he wants to Colorado, I mean California. California. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. If he wants to be with San Francisco or the Dodgers, I mean he can go there if he wants to be home. But if he wants to stay at the Yankees, he can do that too. Hard saying. We'll just do this next bullet in that red one. We won't do. Just because of time. Oh, I got a little something to say about okay. that. Oh, I do too, actually. But okay, <laughs> <laughs> way too early, twenty twenty three. Yeah, we'll go th- quick through this. Who, just who do you got? Braves, Mariners. 
Ooh, I like that. I got Braves Guardians. Braves Guardians? Yeah. I like that, too. I was actually going to pull this out. I got like, Braves. That's who I got right here. Not the Guardians, <laughs> sir. Oh, oh, shoot. I actually got feedback from my cousin saying that we need to get a Cleveland one instead of the Indians one. Sorry. But we should be up to the time. We're going to have to go up there. Get we will. Hey, I'm down. Popcorn. Okay. It's last bullet. Yep. What do you got about the Royals? They need to get somebody quick because all the other teams are acting right now, too. Well, did you see who they interviewed? I did not. They interviewed Rays bench coach, coach Matt yeah. Pichuero. Okay, I did see that, yeah. But today, I didn't see this was Tuesday the 25th, they interviewed Pedro Griffal, Yeah. Vance Wilson, third base coach for the Royals. I like Pedro, Pedro Griffal as a bench coach. Yeah, I like Pedro Griffal. And but, Scott yeah. Thorman, the Omaha Storm Chasers manager. Why in-house, guys? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're starting there. I mean, I wouldn't mind the Omaha Chasers. He's coached those young guys. Yeah, basically. he's been with them. He has, so I feel like he would know them. Did so, you see that? That'd probably be my favorite of those three. But Bruce Boshi went to the Mariner, uh, Rangers. Yep. So Bruce Bruce Boshi's out of the equation. Did you get what I sent to you on Facebook? Like, I didn't. Ago? I didn't look at it. Skip Schumacher. Skip Schumacher. Schumacher. To yeah, the, the Marlins. Marlins yeah. I thought they were going to get Luis Rojas because yeah. he interviewed like twice. I mm-hmm. think. But Skip Schumacher is obviously the guy. I, Raul Obani has interviewed for the Marlins. Did he really? And he said he backed out of it. He said it, he wasn't in the right headspace or it wasn't the right time or something. So I don't know if that maybe means, there's a little something, or that means he's not going to do anything for the Royals. That's what I was thinking. It didn't sound like he wanted to be a manager, is what I took from mm-hmm. it. But who knows? The Royals would be very. That'd be nice if the Royals got him. Sports betting and trivia section. You want to do trivia or do you want to do sports betting first? Let's do sports betting first. Okay. So we got three parlays of the week. We did them last week as well. We did the easy money. I don't remember how they went last week. I don't either. Last week. Uh, in the future, we're going to – we'll we'll see if they yeah, do or not. We will. In yeah. the future. Uh, but this week, we got the easy money, good chance, and the long shot parlays. Yep. So – I will right here is the easy money parlay. We got the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers on um, just the money line on it. Yep. And that the odds of that are minus 460 cuz the Eagles are very uh, favored, very favored. Yep. And then I also got Penn State to score under 22 and a half points for Ohio State. Ohio State is averaging 14.8 points. Their defense per is game. solid. That's their offense is good, good and, but their defense is also very good. They haven't very played good. a team like Penn State yet. I don't I think, agree. but it's going to be tough. But well, I think they should yeah, keep him on their 22. They should. they should. And then the Astros to score over three and a half runs in game one. Like I said earlier, that offense is insane. And what I said, they're going to score five runs a game. Exactly. So you have to score more yeah, than five runs if you're the more. Phillies. And then also the Dolphins versus the Lions under 50 total points. I mean, the Lions offense ain't very good. The Dolphins offense is, is It looked good. bad last – I think they only scored 19, 19 points. points. Yeah, 19 exactly. points. Against the, so I mean, the Steelers are all to score a combined under 50 points, I think they could It's pretty it. likely. So that's an easy money parlay. Total, total odds eight twenty one. Ten dollar bet yields you ninety two dollars and eleven cents. Yeah. So okay. easy money there. Yeah. But twenty dollar bet, you'll make one hundred eighty dollars. One hundred eighty dollars, and that's so. as of today, as October twenty fifth. October twenty fifth yep. okay. date. Okay, gotcha. So the odds could change if like a player gets hurt or something. Yeah. Yeah. But so then we go to the good chance parlay. Not as good chances as the easy money parlay, but still still decent chances. We got the Phillies. To beat the Astros in Game One of the World Series, which is on Friday, which would be tomorrow if you're watching this. Yep. Uh, just the money line on it. It's plus one forty-five because Phillies are the underdogs. Underdogs. So that they are hot, like you said earlier. It yep. could happen. So it depends on if you're going for the hot team or for the best team. And then we've got Cowboys to score under twenty-six and a half points versus the Bears. That should happen. It could happen. Their offense hasn't been the best. And Dak's coming back. He hasn't been looking good. And I mean, it's the second week with the it offense. Is. So, but twenty-six and a half points. I mean. That's pretty likely. Cowboys are a 20-24 yep. point team, and then they allow 13 yeah. 10 points. Very likely. Then I got Ohio State to have over 20.5 points in the first half versus Penn State. Very likely. Very likely. Very, very likely. They're, They're probably going to have plus 14 in the first quarter. Yeah. Then we got Oklahoma State to beat Kansas State, straight up money line, plus 100 on that one. And so who's then, the underdog in that? I think, Kansas State? I think Oklahoma State, if, if it's – the plus 100. That's what I was according thinking. To DraftKings, yeah. It must be because K State's at home. My underdog of the week then wouldn't work because I got K State. Oh, well. Hey, That's hey. dumb. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Nebraska to score over 10.5 points in the first half, plus 125. 10.5 points, I mean. What do you think? 
they've been scoring a lot more in the first half and the second half. Okay. So I think they can That's score. That's good. I think they can score two touchdowns. Okay, then the if they've half. been scoring more in the first, if they've been getting all the points in the first half, definitely do that yeah, then. Yeah. yeah. Usually it's on the first drive like they did against Oakland. Yeah. You know? And then they do bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they usually definitely. score at least two touchdowns in the first half. Yeah. So I think that can happen. Total odds plus 43 $10 bet yields you $442. Ooh, the that's a good one. Yeah. So put 10 bucks on that. If you double the bet, say 20 bucks, 880 bucks. Yeah. So, hey, we're going to post these on our socials as well if you want to come back and look at yep. it. And then we've got the long shot parlay. Very, very high odds here. Long shot. So Nebraska to beat Illinois money line. Possible, you know. It is a it long is. shot, but plus two, 245 odds. Uh, it's at home. It is Nebraska's at home. Nebraska's at home. It is at home. And Coming off a of bye hungry. week, they had two weeks for prepare. They're I hungry. Mean, yeah. Then Kentucky to beat Tennessee. Kentucky's okay. number 19, Tennessee. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good, but hey, it could happen. Yep. Plus 370. Then... This is a kind of a crazy one. The first drive in the Denver Broncos versus Jacksonville Jaguars game resulting in a field goal. But I can see that happening too, though. Broncos don't score a lot of touchdowns. No, they don't. Ball first. I mean, Jacksonville offense ain't crazy either, you know. So the plus 500 odds because that's kind of a stretch. Yeah. Jets to score 31 to 40 points against New England. I think that's a good. It could happen. They just traded. Did you see they just traded for James Robinson, the Jacksonville running back? And uh, the Patriots defense just allowed 33 points to the Bears. Exactly. So. So, 31 to 40 points, can't rule it out. And then, over one and a half runs scored in the first inning of Game 1 of the World Series. That's combined. Over one and a half? So, you can, like, it could be one to one, and, yeah. you, and you would win. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so, definitely going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Especially with the Astros. So, all these things, if they were all to happen, the odds are plus 252,854. A $10 bet yields you $25,295.40. $10 bet. Twenty dollar bet, fifty grand. I feel like all of that could have exactly. It's got to be Nebraska. Nebraska yeah. has to be Illinois, right. and the rest could Illinois, right. and the rest could happen. The rest, I mean, if you put five dollars on it, 12, 12 grand. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you know. I'll but yeah, it. yeah. We'll put. I'll put all money on all these this yeah. weekend. Yeah, all we'll these parlays. See. see what it does. Just see. Yep. But yeah, those will be on our socials. Uh, if you want to take a look at them later. Underdog of the week. Who you got? Obviously, K State. I K-State, obviously but. is not owned, and then Penn State. I just put that down. Is it at Ohio State or Penn State? Do you know? Uh, I mean, I could probably. It up here. I right, got it. I got it right here. I was gonna say I do too. I could probably look. I think it's at Penn State. Where's that? Penn State's a very very tough atmosphere, but Ohio. It is. If it's at Ohio State, then Ohio. It's at Penn State. Uh, definitely. Then if bed like five dollars on it, bet five dollars yeah. on it. I don't know the odds of it. I didn't yeah. look that up. But. They're plus 22 is what you said, aren't they, favorites? Yeah, but I don't know the odds. Oh, uh, okay. Like what the payout would I don't be. know much about this. I just know I also how have, to predict. That's yeah. what I'm good at. I also have the Phillies as underdogs. So Phillies, I can, I yeah. I the Phillies winning the World Series. They're hot, like you said. They're, it's going to rely on their pitch. It's going to have to come down to their pitching. It it's going to have to. I agree. Yeah. But their pitching is really good right now. And I hope they just don't get fatigued and tired. High, high stress situations, pitching a lot of pitches, throwing the ball hard because you're jacked up, amped up. Yep. They're going to get tired, and you're going to notice that, especially because you get seven games. Did you have an NFL upset pick? Or do you just want to talk about those later? Um, Let's just talk about them later. I have A&M over Ole Miss, too, as another upset. Oh, I like that. Ole Miss just lost. Yeah. I don't know if A&M won, but. i seen something today that Jimbo Fisher got rid of some players, too. From A&M? Mm-hmm. Huh. I don't, I don't know. I, I just. ESPN update. Maybe not then. If there's some drama it. in the locker yeah, room and with the there squad, there's drama. probably not going to be. I, I also got UCF over Cincy. But I thought UCF beat East Carolina last week, but they didn't. Yeah. So I I wrote that down before I looked up the score. But oh well. hell, why not? Bet, bet on UCF. Should we hop into trivia? Looks like we're getting short on time here. Yeah. Might as well. Okay, so we're, we're going to do like we did in episode one. Uh, where did – what college did – who go to? In the MLB, go? NFL, and NBA. Yep. Okay. Get me. Come on. I'll do an easy one first. Jackie Bradley Jr. That's weird. I had that down. For Did you? Too. Yeah, South Carolina. <laughs> yep, South Carolina. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll stay in the MLB. This one's easy. Alex Gordon. Nebraska, Nebraska baby. Nebraska, Nebraska. Right here. This is Jersey War. No, it wasn't. That's football jersey. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> wasn't he number four at Nebraska, he was too? number four. Yeah, okay. Was it, maybe it was number seven. I don't know. Either way. Doesn't matter. Aaron Judge. Uh, 
Did he? Was it okay? Just tell me this. It was in California. Yeah, it was. It wasn't Fresno State. Yep. Was it? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Nice one, bro. Thank it's you. in there. It's in it's there. In you, there. Just gotta, you just got to find it. You do. That was nice. I got one for you. Him and Derek Carr were roommates. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. <laughs> Sorry. I got one for you. Bryce Harper. He didn't. Oh, it was Juco. Was it in Vegas? It was. God. He was 16 years old and hit like 502 in a Juco. I don't care. I don't know. Southern Nevada Community College. Ah, dang it, dude. <laughs> that one's tough. I thought it was like some like use. I don't know. That one's like, tough. I don't know. It was. I knew it was a JUCO in Las yeah. Vegas, but one more MLB. DJ LeMahieu. Ooh. It's a pretty common mm. college baseball. School. Vanderbilt. No. Oh, I was really thinking. I was really confident on that. I got another one. If you don't know this one, see if you know this one. DJ LeMahieu. LSU? Yep. Really? Let's go. Garrett Cole, you know this one? It's kind of tough. That was my diff- most difficult one. I don't know this one. UCLA. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel like you've asked me that before. Uh, yeah. I got one more. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to get it. Jim Tomey. Uh, <laughs> ooh, uh. No. Is it you Texas? Were... No. Was it a weird school? Yeah. It may have been a community college. I don't know. What is it? Illinois Central. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Never mind. I swear I've seen like a v- highlight video or video of him in college. That's what I said online. Yeah. Like, that could be wrong. You can fact check me if you want. Yeah, we're not going to. <laughs> Let me go in NBA? Sure. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. You want easy, hard, or medium? No matter. You pick. A medium. Donovan Mitchell. I should know this, dude. Give it to me. Louisville. Oh, yeah, my bad. It is your bad. Gosh. On that one. Cade Cunningham. Oklahoma State. Yep, nice. I didn't know you. I didn't think you'd get that. Nice one, bro. Easy. easy. I was nervous to put that one down because I didn't think you were going to get it. No. Oh. You want easy or hard? Easy. Kevin Durant. Texas. Yeah, it's easy. God, I can't believe I didn't know Donovan Mitchell. That's all right, bro. Shake it Keep off. Keep going. My turn, Max. Steph. Davidson. Yep. Nice, nice. I'm giving you some easy ones this You're time. You're giving me some easy ones. Because I gave you difficult ones last time. You didn't know any of them. I didn't. <laughs> You're right. Um, you might not know these next two, though. I you may know. not know these next two. Magic Johnson. Was it, it a weird school? No. It wasn't Big, Big Ten. Think about oh, it. Oh, Michigan State. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah. Exactly. The last one you're not going to get. <laughs> Give it to me. Doc Rivers. It wasn't Duke. No. Was it a big school? Kind of. Kentucky? No. I mean, it's D1. It's not huge. D Wade. Marquette? Yeah. I didn't, yeah. Is that where his kids went? I was gonna, trying to think of where his kids no. no, it's going to Duke. Duke, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I was awesome saying Duke, Duke, yeah. You got one more? Yeah, one more? AI. Allen Iverson. Oh, man. This one was tough. Was it Georgetown? Yeah, really? let's go. Let's go, baby. That was nice. John Stockton. We talked about this. Remember this weekend? Oh, <laughs> I think John Stockton. Oh, my gosh. It's in there, dude. Oh, you got to tell me. Gonzaga. Yes, Gonzaga. <laughs> you ever talk about it this I weekend? I remember talking about that. All right, let's go to the NFL. NFL real quick. Saquon. Penn State. Yep. Amari Cooper. Alabama. Yeah. Pat Mahomes. Texas Tech. Let's go. Alvin Kamara. Ooh. Was it a weird school? No. They're really good this year in college football. But they're not always super good. Kentucky? No. Same conference. Tennessee? Yes. Oh, I was going to say that first, but I did not think he went to Tennessee. Yep, he went to Tennessee. I thought it was... My bad. You got me? Yeah. CMC, Chris McCaffrey. Stanford Cardinal. Let's go. Oh. Have I missed one yet? Mm -mm. Oh, I missed John Stockton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And DJ Lee Mayhew. I'm giving. I gave you some pretty hard ones though. I like. I got a couple though. bears. I like my it, last though. one. Chicago yeah. Bears. Brian Urlacher. Oh Jesus, dude! Wisconsin. <laughs> no. Southwest. Arizona. No. Arizona State. No. Nope. I have no idea. New Mexico. Yeah. I have no idea. That <laughs> You'll one. not get the last one either. I don't think. But it's funny. Micah Parsons. This is the Cowboys defense one. Um. We talked about it this weekend. 
Wisconsin? Big Ten. I knew it was a Big Ten. Same school as one of the dudes you just said. Penn State? Yep. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. That's a lot. You, 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 go, you give me my last one. That's it. Oh, I, you got yeah. it. Okay. Jay Cutler? <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. Who Vanderbilt? <laughs> Vanderbilt, yeah. huh? Yep, old that's, Jay went to Vanderbilt. That's it for trivia, isn't it? That's it for trivia. Nah, we're doing high all time. Oh, we're doing fine. We're NFL fine. now, is that what we're moving on to? NFL Week 7. Yeah, recap real let's quick. go. So last week, I guess, let me, let me see. Bring it out, bring it out. Yep, that's it. Well, let me get yours. Yeah, there it is. So last week, Thursday night game was New Orleans against Arizona. We both had the Saints. Lost. Saints lost. It's all right. Arizona won. Cleveland, Baltimore. We both had Ravens. Ravens won. I don't remember the exact score, but we won't worry about that. Um, Bucks at Carolina. We both had the Bucks. Carolina yep. went with the insane upset on that. Three points Tom Brady scored in the Bucks. They were bad. They were really bad. I didn't watch that game, but that's just... Not good. Yeah, not good. Uh, Cincinnati hosting... The Falcons. For some reason, I put the Falcons to win. Yeah, Who just because they played one good week. They did. Um, but since he kicked the crap out of them, and you had Cincy. Yep. So you're up one on me so far. Both had Dallas. Both had Dallas winning against the Lions. Um, Dallas did. Both of us had Giants winning against the Jaguars, and the Giants won. Uh, Titans versus the Colts. I had the Colts. You had the Titans. Yep. Titans won. So you're up two on me. I think the rest we all had the same. So you beat me by two. But we had the Packers over Washington, and obviously the Commanders won, which was crazy. That was crazy. Um, the other Heineke played good. Yep. And the you like him over Carson Wentz? Yeah, I think so too. I think they. It's like Cooper Rush Dak situation. Exactly, it is. Uh, Jets at Denver. The Jets won. We both had the Jets. Raiders hosting Houston. We both had the Raiders, and the yep. Raiders won. Uh, Seattle at. The Chargers. We both had Seattle and Seattle. Ooh, I thought I had the Chargers. Nope, Let's go. Chiefs at uh, 49ers. We both had the Chiefs. The Chiefs won. Uh, I didn't get the last page. That's Mike Myers. Who was it? Uh, Dolphins at, or Pittsburgh at Dolphins. We both had the Dolphins. And then the Bears at New England. We both had the Patriots. Yep. So the final record, I guess... Week by week record, you're three and zero. I'm yeah. out three. I haven't won. Let's yet. go. This week you went ten and four. I went eight and six. In total, you are twenty eight and sixteen. I am twenty four and twenty. Twenty eight and sixteen. Both have winning records still. Yeah, we both have winning records. Let's go. I'm I'm, I'm sniffing at five hundred, but hey, so what? It's life. You got a question for me? Do I? Yeah, the next one you're gonna ask me. Oh yeah. What's wrong with Tom Brady and the Bucks right now? I don't know. I was gonna ask you the same question. Well, I got some things. You want me to go over them or you want to go first? You go first. I don't I don't really have a whole lot written down here. I feel like he does not have confidence right now. He's just not been playing the way he has been in the past. I don't know if it's off-field stuff or is just the weapons aren't good and what's around him is not good, but he just does not have I the confidence. I think a lot of off-field stuff. Yeah. Because I think he's getting a divorce. I mean, there is that, but I don't. And he's also 45, 46 yeah. years old. I mean, yeah, he's one of the all-time greats, but Tom. He should have hung him up after Tom, this. He shouldn't have came back. Tom, I think you need to hang him up, bud. We're getting there. You got anything else about that? Yeah. Um, can't rely on defense. Used to, it used to be used like 34-28 and they'd win, or like 34-30 or something like that. But now they're scoring, allowing 24 yep. points against the Panthers. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's exactly. that. And like another, what Alameda just said, his weapons aren't as strong. Like Mike Evans dropped that wide open touchdown pass. You exactly. see that? Yeah, I did And he's that. on my fantasy team. But <laughs> That made you sad. Bro. It did. But there's just not a strong. Chris Godwin's not there. He doesn't have Gronk. Yeah. Leonard Fournette. I mean, he's average. Yeah. But weapons aren't there. That's what I got with Tom Brady. I don't know anything else. But the Chiefs are scary good. They're very good. They're right looking now. really good. They are. Do Do they need any additional help via trades or signing? What do you think? I think if they're going to acquire someone trade, if they're going to get somebody defense, it has to change their defense completely. Like, it should be a superstar if they're going to mm-hmm. get somebody, like, and trade picks. Like, if they trade picks. Because I feel like that's what they do. They yeah. give them, like, two picks or something for a guy. I would say... But don't give up picks for a, an offensive guy. Right, exactly. Exactly. I because Juju's starting to play a lot better. He is. Marquez Valdez-Scantling had a huge catch. He's starting to play a lot better. 
I mean, if, once those guys start clicking, the offense is going to do one score once forty-eight guys, points, like or forty-four points, or something. Once those guys start clicking, then you got Travis Kelsey. They're gonna the defense is gonna have to worry about two. Yeah, you know, and then it's just gonna be Nicole Hardman. Like yeah. they got so many guys. Did he have two or three rushing touchdowns this weekend. I don't know, but yeah. he played really good. He did. He played did. really good. So I don't think they should get rid of draft picks to sign or like to get somebody for one year or two years or something like that. Because they've proved in the past too that they can do a lot with the picks, especially in the late rounds or something like that. You think their O line's fine? Did you I get do. scared right there? I did. I, I did. <laughs> I about punched you. <laughs> I would have been so mad. Yeah. I think their O line's fine. I do. You do? Maybe a tackle or something. I was like thinking that. that's what I put but, on here was maybe a tackle. Like in the draft, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it would be. But I feel like. They need defensive help. They need a safety or corner, maybe a linebacker. I saw somewhere that they were going to get that Panthers linebacker. I can't think of his name now. But, obviously, they would have to give up a lot of picks right. for him because he's really good. Brian Burns, maybe, is his name or something like that. But Do their offense scoring that many points on the 49ers defense? It shows a lot. And I guess if you're scoring 45 points a game, who cares if your defense is But your offense has always got to be clicking. Like yeah. That, you know? Yeah. But we'll see. Who do you got for MVP? This is going to give me a lot of hate, and I'm Mahomes. Really? He's leading the league in passing and touchdowns, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because Josh Allen had a bye last week. But still, I feel like he's going to after this week. I mean, I don't know. He has a bye this week. So we'll see. He put up big numbers this week. He so. did put up big numbers. However, I got Josh Allen. Josh Allen? I also want Jalen Hurts just because. That would be cool. I it would be. If they go undefeated, he That's could. who I would want yeah. would be Jalen Hurts. Yeah. That would be awesome for Oklahoma fans, for you. I mean, just for Eagles fans too, that'd be cool. Yeah, to see Jalen Hurts, it would be to see him have a huge like full season yeah. of being good. But I think it's gonna be Josh Allen, and I think that Josh Allen's gonna beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship. AFC Championship. I do. Put it on the record. Put it on record right now. Yep. A, a lot of people are gonna put that on record. You know, a lot of people are. Probably, they're gonna put the Chiefs and Bills in the. AFC oh yeah, but I feel like they think the Chiefs are gonna win probably. Not not my brother, not Iron Bowl. Bills are good. Iron Bowl disagrees. That's it, week seven. Week eight predictions. Let's go on. Let's get there. Baltimore traveling to South Florida to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers. Who do you got? Ravens, 24-17. You? I got Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, he's mad. He's like, I am not a loser. I'm not three and four. This is baloney. I thought he was going to do that against the Panthers. You would think, but he's going to be really mad and embarrassed Score. by that. 23-20, Tampa Bay. You wait. I don't think it's going to happen because he doesn't have a lot of time to prepare. You know what's going to happen? He has three days to prepare, Let maybe two. You. Let me tell you Go what's going to happen. Baltimore is going to be up big like they have four or five times this year. They're going to be up maybe 20 to 7, 20 to 10. Yeah. Tom's going to come back. Tom's going to come back and win, just like okay. Tom Brady does. Okay. And Giselle's going to be like, Tom, no. I want you back. <laughs> no. Just because of one game? No way. Maybe not. Um, Moving on to Sunday. London game, 8.30 in the morning. Don't forget to set your fantasy lineups early. Ooh, yeah. early. Good call. Yep. Good call. Denver versus Jacksonville. Who do you got? I got the Jags, 24-13. to 13. You got Denver? You got the Jags. Well, I got Jags seventeen ten. Yeah, Jags seventeen ten. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, is Russell Wilson playing? Do you know? I have no idea. I don't either. But they're just who, they're who cares? Yeah. Denver's if he plays, bad. they'll be bad. If he's, Denver fans, if he doesn't play. I'm sure they're going to be bad. I'm sorry, you're not. It's not looking good for you. Twenty four thirteen Jags. Next game. Carolina at Atlanta. I was about to set the wrong game. I got Falcons twenty three twenty. Who do you got? I got Falcons fourteen ten. Low scoring game because they're both bad. I think Falcons. Will Falcons be all are right. decent. They should be pretty good against the Panthers defense. They're decent. Bears at Cowboys at Dallas. Who do you got? I got the Dallas Cowboys twenty seven sixteen. Who do you got? Cowboys seventeen fourteen. <laughs> What'd you say? I said uh, twenty seven sixteen Dallas. I think their offense. Is I do have two scores, but you don't want me to put them down. Because that would be cheating. It is cheating. So, like, I do have two scores. If Bears win, it would be 20-14. to 14. If Cowboys win, which is the score I'm going with, score for the record and everything like that, 17-14. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like so, two it. different scores right there, but... I don't see Chicago winning that game. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't think their offense is... I know they scored a lot of points against the Patriots. Yeah. Monday Night Football. Yeah, that's what... But, but Dallas defense, I gave you the stats earlier. They're very they good. good. They're very good. Next game. Miami... Traveling to Detroit 
The Motor City. Who do you, Who do you got? got, brother? I got Dolphins 22-14. I got the Dolphins winning 30-17. to 30-17. to 17. Yep, yep, yep. I want Detroit to win. I want Detroit to be good. I like their coach. I do too, but they're but one and five. They, they're bad. They're not looking they good. They had one really, really good game when all, TJ Hawkinson gave me 40 yeah, points. Yeah, <laughs> but they've just been, haven't been looking good since. Next game, Arizona traveling to Minnesota. Minnesota. The Twin Cities. Who do you got, brother? I got Arizona 35-24. Who do you got? Interesting. You think Arizona is going to give Minnesota only their second loss? Yep. At home? I do. Oops. That's noisy. <laughs> Um, Who do you got? I got the Vikings. I got the Vikings, thirty-four to twenty-seven. It's gonna be a good game, but Kyler Murray pick at the end of the game. Okay, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Las Vegas Raiders at the New Orleans. Going to play Saints. the Saints. Who do you got? I got the Raiders, thirty-one twenty-one. Nice. I got the Raiders too, thirty-one twenty-one. Yep. I got Raiders twenty-seven twenty. I like it. Raiders are trending in the right direction. I think they'll be. good. I think so. They'll be fine. Not playoffs, but they'll be... They're, yeah, they'll be fine. It's not going to be, like, pitiful. Oh, my gosh. They, oh, you start out slow. It's, it's nice. Yeah, get they'll get there. Next game, what is it? We got a Northeast game. Patriots traveling to New York Jets. Who do you got, brother? Who do you got, Red Dog G-Money? I got Jets 17-14. I got Jets 34-27. Almost Ooh. double the amount of points you have. 27? 34-27, yes. Jets. I wonder who the uh, Patriots are going to start at QB. Did you watch the game last night at all? I seen <laughs> Vinny Pasquantino tweeted. Yeah. And he said, what am I missing here? Because Bailey's, uh, is it Zap or Zappy? I don't know. Anyways, he was uh, had the most like passing yards and the most rushing yards in the game was Mac Jones. <laughs> oh, I did see that. I saw that tweet too. So, But I feel, well, Bailey Zappy, when he came in, he did really good his first two drives. And then yeah. he did awful really? the second half. Awful the second half. I feel like they took Mac Jones out way too early, though. Way too early. Jets, 34-27. Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. I got the Eagles, 21-13. Who do you got? Eagles, 30-17 over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's woes continue. 30-17, sir? Yep. Do you know Pittsburgh hasn't had a losing season? Under Mike Tomlin? Yeah. They've had the Ben 500. They've been 500. They haven't had a losing season. Mike Tomlin's a good coach. They may have their first losing season. They might. They might have their first losing season, but you can't win them all, you know? Tennessee at Houston. I got Titans 33-13. I got Titans 35-10. Titans are trending in the right direction. They are. Their defense last week was very solid as well. Very solid. Yeah. Washington at Indianapolis. Who do you got? I got my boy Taylor Heideke, (laughs) 21-20. I got the Commanders as well, 28-14. Indianapolis Colts are going to regret sitting Matt Ryan. 24-14, I'm sorry. 28-14. The Colts are going to regret sitting Matt Ryan. I don't know why... Didn't Sam Ellinger, isn't he a a Texas alum? He is a Texas alum. Uh, I was going to ask you that to see if you knew it, but let's go. Um, Just just two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, Matt Ryan against the Jaguars went 42 of 58 for 389 yards and three touchdowns. Two weeks later, he's benched. I think there was an injury, too. It could be. I thought he had a shoulder separation or something. I have no idea. I could be wrong. But But the way they put it out there on the media made it seem like they just benched him. Exactly. But... Yeah, everyone was at work was telling me today, did you see that the Colts bench Matt Ryan? I was like, no. But, yeah, I don't know why. It's they... a result of the injury. Is it? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Anyways. Moving on to San Francisco, the Niners going to L.A. to play the Rams. I got the 49ers 21-16. Who do you got? Why do we have to agree on everything, Grant? My brother. Uh, I got 24-20 49ers. 24-20? Yep. I bet we agree on the next ones, too. I bet we don't. Seattle. Seattle. Taking on the Giants. Who do you got? I got Giants twenty to seventeen. I think it's gonna be an upset. Seattle, Seattle. Are winning twenty to seventeen. Did you say twenty to seventeen? I did. Yeah, I had the same. So score. basically the opposite. This was tough for me because Seattle has been playing very good. Do you want me to justify my answer? Yeah. Get well, some actually, stats. No, no, I don't want to justify my answer. What I'm going to tell you is, Seahawks are going to win this game. Giants are going to be upset about it. They got to buy next week. Giants do. Yeah. Okay. And then the following game they play the Texans. Texans are one four and one. At home. Then they play at home against the Lions. They're 1-5. and five. They're bad. So they're going to win both of those games. And then they go and play the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. And that's going to be one heck of a game. That is. They always play on Thanksgiving. I know. It's going to be a great be game. A one great game. game. I'm excited for that. But, yeah, this is going to be um, – I think the Giants are going to lose potentially two, three, or four games this year and make the playoffs over the Cowboys 
Actually, I guess the Eagles are gonna Eagles. Be, they're going to be a wild card. Wild card, card yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I think Over the Cowboys. Uh-huh. Right? I think so. I think and so. the Cowboys are then going to make have to make some big moves after this they year. They are. They are. They really are. Next one, Green Bay at Buffalo. Who do you got? I got the Bills, 33-24. I got the Bills, 38-24. to nice. Very similar scores. Do you know why? Because we're brothers. Thinking the same. We're a little – I think we have three that are different, don't we? Three or four, I think. Three or four. Yeah, we'll go on. Two more games left. We got – no, one, one game more left. Game. Monday Night Football, Cincinnati at Cleveland. Who do you got? I got a huge win by Cincinnati, 41-17. It's going to be an ugly – Monday Night Football. Cleveland fans are going to be leaving in third quarter. I got Cincy thirty to sixteen. Cincinnati, they're they're starting to look like the defending AFC champs. They are. They really are. They're starting to look pretty good. I think. I don't know. I think their defense needs to do a little bit better, but and their O line looks a little bit better than it has at the mm-hmm. beginning of the year. But if Joe Burrow continues to throw for almost five hundred yards, Jamar they Chase be fine. stands out. They should T. be Higgins, fine. Whoever their tight end is, I can't remember. What was his tight end's name? I can't remember. Uh, uh, Hurst? Hayden Hurst? I don't remember. Anyways, if he does good, that'd be awesome. I think we have time for favorites. Oh, yeah, we got some time. We got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. So, do you want me to go first? You want to go yeah. first? Who's your favorite player from Nebraska I, and why? I put two. Of all time. Not just now, of all time. I put two. Okay. So, in the recent years, I won't, I won't use any of the recent years, you guys, because it hasn't been awesome for Nebraska yeah. fans. Like I said, it's been 20, since 2016 or 2017 since our last bowl game. But we used to be really good around 2008 to 2012. Like we were a 9-3 and three team, you know, every year making a bowl game. So Very those years Nebraska those years, I really cherish. Yeah. I cherish watching them games with my uncles, Dan and Willie. Um, we always uh, would get together, watch those games, and watch probably, I got I got to say two. Nadama Kong Su. Okay. Loved watching him. He, he was did, electric. He was so good the in college. crowd chanting Su. So oh good in gosh, college. It gives me chills thinking about it. And then also, uh, the the greatest quarterback that's been there um, since I've been a true fan, Taylor Martinez. I really loved watching Taylor Martinez. He was very good. Very electric. Um, that was in the, when they were still in the Big 12. Yeah. Yeah. Just just good good memories there. And Him and Sue were teammates, weren't they? They were. Was Rex Burkhead on that Rex team? Rex Burkhead, I think, one year was with them as and well. And then Kenny Bell? Or who was that guy? Kenny Bell Kenny was Bell. at that time, yeah. So they, that's when they were good. Did Kenny Bell go to the league ever? Didn't he? Did he play for the Panthers or something? I, I don't remember. But that's also when they had Levante David. Oh. He, he's a linebacker for the Tampa Bay. Nebraska had Levante David? Mm-hmm. I didn't know he went to Nebraska. Yep. yep. Dang. So, so they were good that year. really good. Back Holy back. crap. They were really good that year. Those were the, those were the glory days. Was that 2012? I'm 2013? Sure the exact year. Somewhere around there. I think it was 2012. I don't think it's 13. I think it's 12, 11, 10 yeah. ish. Might be, yeah, might be 10 or 11. But yeah, those were the good old days. Those were me. the glory days for Nebraska. I remember watching those games too. Yeah, they were, the double Nebraska cut. was Taylor always Martinez ranked. was so good. Nebraska was always ranked. Yeah, and they were always in every game. It was it was awesome. Yeah, was, I I miss those times. Those probably like favorite the atmosphere players. at Nebraska is insane now. Yeah, in Lincoln, just imagine if they were ranked in like a top exactly. 25 team. It'd be crazy. Other Nebraska fans listening, crazy. Are probably like why? Why would you chew those guys? Uh, because, I mean, back in the nineties, I wasn't alive. Exactly, so and that's I can't, a- I can't choose some of those legends that you guys. Yeah, you guys we're young. Know. We're young, exactly. young-ish, I guess. But favorite Oklahoma player ever, and why? Can you guess? Just try to guess. Uh, Orlando Brown? No, <laughs> no. Know. Who? Sam Bradford. Really? So it kind of goes along the line of you. I put. Ever since I first started like watching college football, like remember college uh, football, exactly. he was the number one guy that I like yeah. would go for. He won the Heisman in '08. Yeah. That's when I like first remember mm-hmm. like watching the Heisman and like remembering who won Heisman mm-hmm. and all that. I'm pretty sure '09 was Mark Ingram, by the way, <laughs> and maybe 2010 maybe was we'll Cam. Find that in a future episode. Cam Newton was might have been 2010, too. <laughs> and I think 2014 was Marcus Mariota. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but 2008 is when I first started watching. Like college football, yeah. 2000, 2007, 2008. Yeah. Sam Bradford won the Heisman. He's probably my favorite. I almost put Adrian Peterson, but I really don't remember him a whole lot in college. I remember him a little bit in college football, but I really remember him as the Vikings. Right. So probably like my favorite player from Oklahoma that would go to the league, that went to the league would probably be Adrian Peterson. But I like it. I also have Baker Mayfield. I know a lot of people would hate that, but he was so electric at Oklahoma. He was. He was so good. He would have so he many games the, where he would 400-plus yards, yeah. and he was just – 
He was so good. Granted, his line was insane. Yeah. He probably would get, I think he had like one year, like four sacks a year. He yeah. only got sacked four times because our O-line was so good. Those were the years where literally all of our O-line got drafted. Mm-hmm. Like I think two years in a row, all five of our starting five got drafted. Really? And like that's very good. That's like I don't name. think they got like stayed on the roster, but they got like a training camp invite or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But Sam Bradford's definitely my number one. The glory days of our college team. They were. They were. And now look at both of our team. You're, Bad. You guys are bought three. We're three and four. Second to last in the Big 12, dude. It's awful. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, but hey. This one's fun. Through. Next for me. This one is tough. I bet we have the same players. but How many do you have? Two. I do two. Okay. My first one? Salvi. That's my second one. Oh. <laughs> What's your second one? Hosmer. That's my first one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have him in any sort of Oh, that's order. funny. Hosmer is my number one. Yeah, Hosmer, he was just... So I, le- electric, I, dude. I had his haircut in high school, yeah. you know? Obviously, I was the a Haas. huge fan. I had the Haas. The Haas. Haircut. It was such... I don't know. I loved watching the... It's just a team. Just Haas, yeah. And he was the heart of the team. He was like, Even he though really Gordon was. was the captain, like the yeah. main guy, the leader of the team, Haas was like the heart of when the team. When Hosmer the left, yeah. it was it changed the, the It changed it the culture. It changed the vibe of the it clubhouse did. and everything. Even if Lorenzo Cain and Mike Musox would have left, if Hosmer would have stayed... It would be know, fine. It would... It, it, not necessarily would we be fine. Like, just the chemistry yeah. would have stayed. And, like, Salvi's there and everything, and he's a good leader. I'm not saying yeah. he's not doing bad with the team or anything, but Hosmer... I don't know. Hosmer is just different. Salvi, just 2014 wild card game. You gotta that appreciate nice. it for that. And he like, was 0 for yeah. 5 with, like, 4 strikeouts, and then puts that and little like, dinker down the line. And his number's gotta be retired when he's also Oh, done. yeah. It's gonna, gonna have be. to be... Him and Gordon. He'll be a lifetime royal. Gordon's number will probably be retired. Yeah. Gordon. Game one, World Series 2015. Jerry Familia. Jerry Dude, oh, that gives me chills thinking it about does. it. I you remember that. watching that? Oh, I, I do. I remember watching it in our living room. In the living TV. room, yeah. I remember exactly. We're like, go, go. And it was gone. That was sick. Chills. So and then sick. Eric Cosmer hit a I, sacrifice fly yeah, walk off. I about put Wade Davis. That's just a because, good like, too. the moments he pitched like, in. And, like, he was so clutch. He was so yeah. good. Like, 2015, 2016. Wasn't it 2016 he was still on the team? Yep, and also 2021 was the last year. But who cares? He was awful that <laughs> he year. Was bad. But, like, those years he was dominant. He was so good. I liked uh, Herrera better, I think. Kelvin, he I was good, Kelvin yeah. Herrera. He was he very was electric, good. electric, 100, almost every pitch. It would be cool to see what your Donna uh, Ventura could do yeah. if he was still alive. And I didn't want to put Gordon. I mean, like. I really always respected him. I always liked yeah. I, and he was a great fielder, but great fielder. I just he was never my favorite player or right. anything like that. Right. But he's he was solid in left yeah. field. Hit anything yeah. his way, he's gonna catch yeah. it. Yeah. Even if it's in the bleachers. Oh yeah. That's about I it. That's isn't it. it. Talk like I a said, little bit. Like, Go ahead. Like we said, Jeremy Sampson, we'll get you your hat. We'll be in contact Looks like with this you. again, I'll post it on there again. Um but yeah, we'll get that to you as soon as we get it in. Um B Squared Sports Talk. Talked a little NCAA today, MLB, yep. NFL, sports trivia. Yep. That's about it. We'll put the parlays up. We'll put the parlays We've up. We've had them out throughout the video. We put them up when we were talking about them, but we'll put them up on our socials so you have them, everything. Anything else, my brother? I don't think I have anything else, my brother. I don't it. I don't either. That should be it. We'll episode 3 of B-Squared Sports Talk. We're done. Peace.